G'day folks and welcome to Mare Nostrum. This is a, an ancient naval warfare game where you control a, a historical fleet in a pitched battle against an enemy fleet. It uses a, a WeGo system, which is basically where you plot the movement of all your ships. Your opponent does the same thing and when you're ready you click Resolve and movement is simultaneous. This, in my experience, creates some very chaotic messy situations. Uh, I've played through oh, quite a few battles now and I am terrible. I'm absolutely terrible at this. So uh, I'm going to show you how the game works but by no means do not do not take tactical advice from me. Uh, I'll show you how the game works but um, that's about the limit of what I can really tell you uh, because I keep losing. There are I've run through the tutorial, I've played through a few skirmishes, I've started the historical campaign a couple of times uh, this latest playthrough, I managed to eke out a minor victory at uh, Alalia, uh, so I've continued, but then I suffered a total defeat at Kume, which was just devastating. So I'm now on to Katana, and I haven't played this battle before, so let me show you how this works. We'll be Carthage, uh, we'll have three commanders, 35 ships, uh, and what have we got? Okay, we've got 10 car transport ships, um, and I haven't encountered these before. The transports are not shoot, and cannot board successfully. They double the victory points in case of capture. So I, that's interesting. I want to keep these safe whilst put my triremes uh, at the front. The little blue number shows manpower, how many basically troops, salt marines I have on uh, these ships. The deck triremes are very powerful with 30. But then we have these Syracusan quinqueremes with 40 troops. Again, I haven't encountered one of these before. These are going to be very difficult. There's seven of these. They'll be hard to... Um, get rid of. The biremes are going to be pretty weak, only 10 manpower um, and very low quality. Um, ships have a, basically a cruise speed, most of them have four, they can accelerate up to a, a six but they become fatigued. Um, hull structure, again pretty weak on the biremes, my transport have only a three but my triremes and theirs have either a six or a seven. And then they have their ramming capabilities, four at uh, 3, 4, and 5, whereas mine is a static 4. Uh, so, something to look out for. Now, their troop quality here is 3. So I have slightly better troop quality on my decked trireme. Slightly better. Uh, it'll be good with ranged fire. Let me show you how the game works. This is how things set up. You can see my transports carrying treasure at the back, which I need to protect. Um, I've got my decked triremes front and centre. Oh, these are my elite decked triremes, sorry, with 30 troops right in the front. Now you have, you may have noticed, I have three commanders. You can zoom in, zoom out, rotates very slowly. This is my commander here. If I zoom out a little bit, you can see all my blue ships versus all their white ships. When I activate a commander for movement, and I give him a move command, all ships uh, of his command can activate. Now I don't want to do that because I don't want these treasure ships to be too far to the front. So I'm going to cancel that. Uh, we might start off on the left here and I want to keep things pretty tight. Now there are several types of combat engagement. You can uh, ram the enemy but you have to get kind of a perpendicular hit on their hull to do damage. Um, you can attempt to shear off their oars if you're ramming front on. Um, you can also grapple. So if I click uh, this, they'll attempt to grapple, and this is where my ship will uh, attempt to basically grapple with enemy ships, and, and then it's a fight uh, using the troop quality and the manpower um, of these ships. So if I click my commander over here and do something similar, I'll keep them at ramming speed, in fact I don't know why they, I don't want to grapple with these guys. Um, if I were probably better at this game, I would probably closely analyse their ships and notice that these are the strong ships in the centre that I want to avoid. Um, and I would probably develop a tactic or a broader operational strategy like maybe keeping all my ships out on the left flank, maybe keeping my treasure ships out here on the left so I only have to worry about I guess my one flank rather than both. And that's what I'm doing. So you can order your ships one at a time as I'm doing, but if they're in the command if they're in the range of a commander, as you saw this ship was, they'll activate. 
Right, let's see how we go with that. And when you're done with all your orders, your ships are done, you click finish. It's possible to miss ships, that happens to me a lot. Um, I think everybody has been given a command. You click finish turn and it plays through. You can see the timer. You can see enemy ships moving, my ships moving. You can speed it up so it moves quite quickly. You can see my treasure ships moving out to the left. The um, Syracusans converging in the center, which suits me, I think. And we're done. Alright, that's turn one. So now, and now what I do have to be careful of is these ships have to stay in command. If a ship, uh, you, you'll notice my leaders have command ranges. And if a ship sails out of that command range, it um, you can't control it and they'll try to automatically sail back to be in a command range. Um, but having these treasure ships out of command range could be could be dangerous. What I'm going to do, I've got a, I've got a particular tactic I'm going to employ, a reverse crescent. Yeah, we'll do this. Try and surround these uh, Syracusans. So again, you can order individual ships. Oops, that's an accident. Cancel things, you just click the X. These guys will come in closer. I'd like to keep a close, a, a tight line. Um, I mean, it's inevitable that I think the Syracusian will break through. Yeah, we'll do something like that. That looks pretty good. Keep a tight line, stop them breaking through, and try and sort of push in on the flanks. Um, I don't know if this will work. It is so unpredictable because it's the I go, you go, uh, the, the we go system. Um, <laughs> Oh, all my battles just end up in a big mess by about turn five. Here come my treasure ships. Center moving up slowly. I don't know what they're doing out here. But, okay. Alright, so let's uh, advance carefully in the center. And we'll uh, straighten up a bit. Now, there's also, I mentioned uh, ramming, I mentioned grappling, which is where two ships grapple together and lock horns. There is also range fire, and this basically uses the, uh, the manpower and the trip quality of your ships. It does take a lot longer though. I mean, my experience has been um, thus far with the battles I've played that range fire is pretty, miss, missile fire it's called, is pretty uh, limited in its effectiveness. Um, you need a lot of sh ships engaging in missile fire to cause even just a little bit of damage to enemy manpower. Okay, keeping those treasure ships close and in command. Alright, so I've tightened my lines up a little bit, a bit of a gap over here which I'll fix up. Uh, what are the Syracusans doing? They so they're okay. They're now splitting again. This is oh, okay. So, a couple of considerations here. Maybe I could focus on their Queen Quereems. Um, maybe I could kind of get in here for a ram. Let's try and do that. Hey. And this is where it's a bit of a. I hope I. <laughs> I hope I don't get rammed. Um, so maybe I'll do like a staged. Keep my line. Bring up the the left a bit. Nice. Alright, keeping the treasure ships still pretty close. Yeah, let's see how that goes. Alright. So they've uh, 
they're, <laughs> they're pulling back. You can see them rowing backwards. Um, basically, if you do row backwards, it's very slow. You move back one hex, I think, is the maximum. Well, I haven't seen any more than one, at least. Or well, I haven't been able to command more than one. Um, but there's some combat over here. What have we got here? Oh, we've both been crippled. Uh, both been crippled. They're cut off here. Um, it's a pretty even fight. Look at that. Um, okay, these guys are engaged in ranged fire as well. So I think I do outnumber them in this area. So I think these three ships are going to be in trouble. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm also crippled. Um, oh, what, okay, let's... Uh, Tough decisions out here. Where is my commander? He's being crippled here. Hmm. Let's try to keep it together. A lot of range fire being ex exchanged over here. No damage being done as you can see to their ships. I've lost one here. So you can see that's the effect. It's, it's, it's pretty minimal. But if I can... Um, I can't get ramming speed on these guys. I could grapple and that would be pretty bad. Um, I swing around like that and try and uh, immobilize them. Uh, yes, they're going to move in front of their friendly ships and I'll keep my uh, my more elite troops just in the back a bit. I think these guys are going to want to reverse. So they're just going to pull back one hex Yes, these are all crippled, they won't move. I'll keep my line in the centre, and I'll keep my treasure ships close. Just a little bit closer. And at the top of the screen, you'll see basically a, a victory bar. It shows proportional... sort of. I'm, so at the moment, I am uh, light blue, and I'm slightly in the lead. I've lost six trips to their four. We've had three ships crippled each. Um, but for some reason, <laughs> the manpower I do to them is uh, is more important. More manpower damage I do to them. So let's see what's happening here. This ship's just retreating. They're trying to come around the flank here. Can I get a a ram off? It's not going to be a ram yet, I don't think. So you can see range fire happening. Uh, so it wasn't enough to ram them. Uh oh. Ah, so they've grappled. And because they have superior ships, this is now 40 against my 16. About 19 here against their 40. And they're probably going to try and grapple here. I'm trying to ram. I don't know what happens here. They've grappled. But they've attempted to grapple. And have failed by the looks of it. And I think I had a ram here as well. So can I shear off their oars? So they've... Uh, They've captured one of my ships quite quickly, just with their fire. But I've crippled one of their Quinn Kareems, which is good. So now I'm going to bring up my big ships. So these guys, I'm going to ram straight ahead just to try and cripple these big ships. And I might pull back this left hand side of the line. Still pulling back here. Um, and up here, we'll turn right. I guess we'll grapple with a... Yeah, this will be a pretty even fight. Um, I'll send my commander in there and see what happens, I guess. Yeah, these guys are grappled. These guys are uh, just going to pull back. They're grappled, so I can't do much with them. And uh, I guess wait and see. So pulling back on the left, ramming, trying to ram many of their Quinn Quareems. If I can just immobilize them, um, stop them getting to my treasure ships, that'd be nice. I am a bit worried about this one on that on the right, but... Uh, what's going to happen here? Well, you can see they've got catapults on their ships. Okay. 
Okay, so I've crippled them at least. Crippled and crippled, but grappled. They're going to probably win the, the grappling engagement. They have twice as many trips as I have, but they're immobilized. Crippled over here. All right. Uh, okay, so I've protected my treasure ships. I have lost a lot. This is the casualties now. I've lost, uh, okay, 96 manpower. They've crippled six of my ships. Oh, I've, I've, sorry, I've crippled six of theirs. They've crippled three of mine. They have ca uh, Have they captured five of my ships? I'm reading, I'm reading this the wrong way. Five captured ships. Yes, yeah, so they've captured five of my ships out here. I'm reading this the wrong way around. They've captured mine, they've crippled three of mine, I've crippled sh six of their ships. Which is what I'm focusing on here. I am losing the battle though. But I'm protecting my treasure ships. Um, turn left, put grappling on. Turn left, grapple. If I can just, just slow them down. Um, pull my ships away. What's happened here? Uh, these are two big ships. That's that's been all but disabled. Three trips left against about 80. I think they're in trouble. Um, see if they can get out of there. I doubt it, but anyway. 13. So what have I got here? I've got two little ships. Um, oh, they can retreat two. I didn't realise that. Or maybe three. Alright. Uh, so the treasure ships are now cut off because my leader is too far away, so they're automatically moving forward to get into command range. Uh, uh, he's going for this commander over to the left here, which is unfortunate. Uh, and they've, uh, they've rammed each other in their desperate bid to get close to their commander. This is a problem with being cut off from command. From next turn though, they'll be okay. But now we're being outflanked by two of these. Okay, one captured ship, one Queen Quirine. Um, get back treasure ships, I don't want you up here. Just kind of wanted them behind the lines, okay. So you'll notice that sort of at a glance here it can be difficult to differentiate the colours, so I often just pull back a bit, scroll back a bit to get to this screen, I can see blue, blue, blue. Um, Let's try and grapple. Okay, I'm just trying to slow them down. They're crippled, crippled, crippled. Uh, I do have a trireme here, which I can just hold out there on the left flank. I do have these five nice decked triremes here, including a 30 mana here. Um, and I think they're going to want to... Actually, I'm going to pull back these guys pull back and reform my line then I'll shift right hopefully I can do that all before I get outflanked and I think they're all in trouble now, as you can see these Quinn Kareem's moving in my captured there Capture trireme. Mm, moving pretty close to my treasure ships. But now turning away. So where is their commander? That's something to know. Oh, way up here. So maybe they'll be out of command. Oh no. I have a commander here. I well, don't know what they're doing. Maybe they're trying to finish me off before they... This is the AI, of course. Finish off my ships in the rear before they move for my treasure ships. I'm happy if they move right into the centre here, that's good. Um. Okay, so maybe now I um, don't want to do that. Maybe now I 
grapple. Treasure ships back a bit. Um, and cut off and grappled. They're all cut off. Okay. That treasure ship needs to pull back to the other treasure ships. He is going to try and um, head out to the right. Cut off fouled. I don't know what he's doing. I don't know. That's not my ship anyway. So this is grappled at least, and cut off. Uh, I've still got some forces in the centre here. Worry about this captured ship moving in. And this is a pretty strong Queen Karim out on the right. Um, I'm just trying to consolidate in the centre, basically. But, things aren't looking good. I've lost uh, 7 captured ships, 3 crippled, 191 manpower. And I'm down to 13%, I don't know what that is, morale, basically. Four, three ships here doing range fire, but you can see their health, their manpower has you know, just dropped down to 1 to 31. It doesn't do a lot of damage. They're now grappled here, uh, down to 28. This is, but this is grappling, um, boarding, boarding fighting. That's it, total defeat. So I've dropped down to 0%. I lost too many men. Um, I just, <laughs> yeah. Didn't do enough. <laughs> I thought I was doing okay. Um, as I said, still learning. Bad tactics. Um, but a pretty quick and easy game to play. And uh, having done that, uh, it's a tactical defeat. And I think the end of the campaign. So I can reset and go back to the start and run through it again. Uh, which I'll do, because it's so uh, it's, it's very quick and easy to play. That is uh, Mare Nostrum.